Hey, one of First Alert Meteorologist Brian Walter. We're still keeping an eye on some thunderstorm chances coming away this evening into tonight, and that may include an opportunity for a strong or severe storm. The good news is we're not expecting widespread severe weather, so not every storm tonight will be severe. But if storms do reach that intensity, damaging winds will be the main concern, upward of maybe 60 plus miles an hour. Can't rule out some gusts as high as maybe 65 or 70. Large hail to the size of quarters. There's a limited but a non-zero tornado threat. So we do want to keep a close eye on these storms as they approach us. Make sure you have ways to get warnings that they are issued, and that includes our 25 News First Alert weather app. So here's Futurecast. Here's what radar could look like as the storms roll through. Again, after 8, 9 o'clock, we'll see storms moving into our western counties. There's 11. You see the line of storms continuing to pass through. But after midnight into early tomorrow morning, storms push off to our east, and our weather should be calming down. Lows will be in the upper 60s tonight into tomorrow morning, with highs tomorrow rebounding as high as maybe the upper 80s. Kind of a hot and muggy day tomorrow, but mostly sunny to partly cloudy. A uh, limited chance for a stray shower thunderstorm, only a 20% chance. And then a little more comfortable by the weekend into early next week with high temperatures in the low 80s. And actually, that's where we stay for most of our 10-day forecast. But we're back this evening with the latest look at that possible severe weather, including live Doppler radar and that full 10-day forecast. Again, those details on 25 News this evening. And don't forget, you can get to weather anytime on our 25 News First Alert weather app.